So yeah, extruded text in Illustrator. Uh, there's quite a few different ways to do it. The, the method I prefer is using the appearance panel. Um, you can do it with the 3D uh, extrude and bevel. Uh, the problem with that is it creates a lot of extra um, vectors that you don't really need and it'll throw a rotation on there that will kind of screw with the effect as well. Um, this method uh, uses the appearance panel only and uh, we're going to offset by duplicating our fills all the way down. So if you notice here uh, in this example, I've got one, two, three, four different versions of it. Uh, you'll want to create more so that you have a much more seamless uh, extrusion. But the, uh, the beauty of this is we can create a new graphic style like here, type some text. And since the original poster it's going to be doing a lot of this. You just apply it to your text and keep going. Uh, it's also editable so that you can adjust it after the fact. Uh, if you look at the wireframe, uh, it's just text. So, to do this, what you'll want to do, let's move that out of the way, create some text. Oh, I made paragraph text by accident. it to your average size that you'll be working at and then jump to the appearance panel so we'll give it a fill we'll give it a stroke and let's beef up that stroke a little bit now we'll duplicate our fill and then the one in the back this works very much like the layer panel so anything at the top of the appearance panel will appear at the top of the object and vice versa so going to adjust the back one, what we'll do is we'll throw a offset, oh, wrong object there, offset the path. Um, now to get it to be smooth, we're going to round these corners like in your example here. You could keep them um, jagged, but what you want to do is add a lot more transforms uh, along the way. So we'll make this round, OK. And now I'm going to duplicate this, go back to the bottom, and then we're going to go back to transform. So let's preview, and we'll go negative 0625, sixteenth of an inch to the left, and a sixteenth down. So now we've got one. We'll duplicate it, go back to the bottom one, adjust the transform. So we'll change this to 125, which is an eighth. And let's see here. Go to the fill again, grab the bottom one after duplicating it. And we'll say um, eight, seven. Offset a little further. Duplicate again. should be able to go to point two five and there you go so now that you got your base set up which you'll want to add a lot more transitions along the way you come in here just click new while you have your object selected basically create your graphic style and now you can apply this to any kind of text or shape for that matter and it will have that same graphic style there you go extruded text